Hey guys, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fun. Today I am making a card with the Scent with Love add-on, Scent with Love stamp set, outside in stitched balloon stackables dies, simple stripes diagonal dies, and the lots of hearts background stencils. So let's do this. Of course I'm starting my card by stamping my images. I'm using Jet Black ink and Bristol mixed media vellum surface um, paper. And then I'm gonna heat set it so the ink doesn't bleed. And um, I think these skunks are like the cutest ever, but I couldn't decide what colors to use. I knew I didn't wanna go traditional black and white. So <laughs> what you're gonna see me color is not what's actually on the card at the end. But I am starting with some dark pinks and medium pinks and browns for my skunks, just to change things up. Um, I, as soon as I started coloring this little guy, <laughs> I had a feeling I wasn't going to love how it turned out just because it looks so, um, well, he looks like a sunburnt mole rat. <laughs> and it just goes downhill from here. But I kept going with it. So I started by just doing pinks, different shades of pinks, similar but different shades of pinks for each of the little cute skunks, um, using a little bit of coral and beige to pull out the color, make it a little bit lighter and not so harshly pink. I'm using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. So I... Start by putting just the darker color on the edges where I want the shadows. Then I use the medium color to pull it out and then the light color um, to pull that middle color out. And then I use my empty water brush that's damp that I use these, you know, I spritz some water on my craft mat and then I use my empty water brush and I get it damp with the water and then just spread the color up, pick up a little bit of color. And that's how I color my images. And <laughs> like I said, they are going to change. I use the same colors. I just flip flop it. So instead of most of the body being pink and just the um, top parts being beige, um, I flipped it and I like that much better. But in, in the meantime, uh, we're going to we're going to see this. <laughs> I'm just using a mustard color marker and a beige color marker to add just a a whisper, if you will, a hint, a tiny little kiss of color to that. And honestly, he's not, I mean, he's pretty cute, right? He's pretty cute right here. Unfortunately, I decide to add some dot texture. And I think that's really where I started to not like <laughs> how they came out. But guess what? It's just paper, right? So I ended up stamping and recoloring them same exact colors just like I said flip-flopped and I did not do a dot detail you'll see at the end of the card um but I didn't know that yet <laughs> so I'm still going along and coloring these cute little valentine's day skunks and of course I also stamped a little letter because I knew what sentiment I was going to use and it really goes well together with the letter um, the letter was just gray and a little red heart. <laughs> nothing crazy, nothing over the top, nothing surprising. Just a little bit of gray, uh, darker in some of the corners where the creases would be in the envelope. And then a little bright red heart to, um, you know, seal it with a kiss. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I forgot to color in their noses and ears, so I do go back and do that. And... Here is where I add their pink cheeks. I did use a darker red color because they were already so dark pink. My usual blush colors would not show up. And I, here's where I decided to add some dot detail. I should have stopped in just the brown areas because it's not actually that bad. I like it. <laughs> I like it in the brown, guys. It is when I start to add it to the pink that I really just, I went too far. 
<laughs> I went too far. There was no turning back. I tried to push through. It kind of gave me uh, creative block. <laughs> so um, I had to recolor them. Sorry. <laughs> But in the end, I really do like how the card came out, and that's all that matters, because when I send this card to someone, even if I use the originally colored images, no one is going to look at that card and say, ooh, this is nice, but imagine if the colors were flip-flopped on these skunks. No one would say that, and if they did, you don't need to send them your hard work anyway. <laughs> the next step was to ink blend the balloon the oversized balloon. And I decided to go with yellows. I am using uh, mustard seed and squeezed lemonade distressings. I'm just starting by adding a little bit of color all over. I also did use fossilized amber for the darkest shadowy part of the balloon, but I had a really light hand with that because that color can get dark real quick. <laughs> then I taped the balloon to the back of my stencil and use the same colors but with a harder pressure to add the hearts. I love this technique. I use it all the all the time. All the all the all the time. <laughs> and see how great that looks? So fun. Just a little detail. Um, next I am showing you that I die cut out my diagonal stripes and I keep them in this is funny. This is funny guys. I keep them in the die as I'm ink blending them so that I know what order they go in because as you will see, despite my best efforts, I do not get the diagonals lined up right. We'll get there. You Come along with me on this magic journey. I'm just using black soot to add um, color. I knew since I wasn't going to do the typical black and white on the skunks that I wanted to do black and white diagonal in the background because I thought that would be like fun. And I'm ink blending it because I love ink blending. Of course, I got black soot all over all my fingers as I was ink blending. Um, that's a very saturated color. But once I did every other stripe in black, I... Um, see there, I'm checking to make sure they're in the right order. Um, once I did every other strip, I'm spritzing it with water. Then I'm also going to splatter some of the black soot on it. I'm squishing it on my craft mat using a paintbrush to pick up some color and splatter it on top. And then I'm also going to splatter some white acrylic paint on top because I love splatters. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. I love splatters. What can I say? And I also add some light gray splatters to the whites, but I don't show that. Uh, while that was drying, I decided to heat emboss my sentiment. And, oh, please ignore my frizzy pink hair. <laughs> That is not supposed to be in there. Um, I am just heat embossing with white powder onto black cardstock, and then I'm gonna trim the strip out so I can put it on my card. Once everything is dry, I am going to glue it to a plain white card base. Not, I mean, not card base, card front. Remember how I kept everything in order? That did not stop me from, even though this is a portrait die gluing it on <laughs> in landscape. How does that happen? I don't even know. I'm assuming I started in the wrong corner <laughs> because here I am like, wait a second, this doesn't line up. How? And then I was like, you know what? I don't even care. The glue was not going to pick that up anywhere. Any, I mean, that glue was stuck down. So I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> I am just going to keep pretending I'm trimming off the excess, adding it to the back, and then I'm just going to keep gluing on my stripes and then trim it off. But I can't believe I did that. All that planning and, you know, trying to keep it in order still, I still did not <laughs> make it work. But it's okay because I'm just gluing it on my card base and nobody will ever, ever know. <laughs> All right, here you can see the two images I colored side by side and how I flipped them and did not add the dot detail. Now, you can tell me below which one you like better. Um, I'm keeping the ones I didn't use on my card because I'm sure they'll work on a card for another time. But I um, did end up liking the mostly brown with the hint of pink uh, skunks a little bit better. 
And as you can tell, I thought I had my design all set for my card. And at the last second, I changed it. I thought it would be so cute to have this little excited squirrel lifting, getting lifted up by the balloon because it's so big. And then the squirrel on the bottom getting the envelope. Like, we're ready to party. Look at us. Um, I was going to have that top squirrel on t sit on top of the sentiment. That was the plan since the dawn of this card. <laughs> but I, for some reason, thought, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be so cute if he was holding on to the balloon from behind? So I did that. <laughs> and I really love how it looks. He's like, peekaboo, I'm ready, ready to party. You're amazing. And I just love how it turned out. And so that's the card. Really simple. Um, but I still managed to have some mess ups, but I like how it came out. These cute little skunks are just having so much fun. I love the stencil on the balloon and I can't wait to cheer up someone's day by sending this card. Thanks so much for coming on this journey with me and check out the card on the Lawn Fawn blog. Bye.